Hey guys, welcome back. It's been a while since I've been doing uh, videos. Um, uh, we're going to be doing web scraping and then k-means clustering and LDA topic modeling over um, this article right here. However, you guys can choose to do your own. And then if you guys uh, know the rules of k-means and then uh, can take my web scraping part, and can take the LDA and want to fill in the you know URL with another URL you guys want to do, feel free to do that. Or take what I got and build on it. It doesn't matter. Anyways, guys, or you just want to follow along like right now, feel free. Or just change one thing, the URL, feel free. Although the K-means clusters, the elbow might be a little different if it's a different page. That's all I'm saying. Anyways, guys, before we start, I chose the Hindustan Times because... Well, a few reasons. Number one, it's a very credible news source for not just news between India and Pakistan, India and China, and the local Indian news. No, all over the world. It doesn't matter. Um, they follow everything, and they're very neutral uh, and truthful on a lot of issues as well. Um, and another reason is because a lar the largest portion of my audience is Indian. Therefore, you know, I kind of wanted to do something. Of course, I'd like uh, to draw in more, you know, more viewers, the better. But, you know, shout out to Indians. That's why, I'm, you know, the Hindustan Times is not paying me to do this. I'm just promoting on my own. Anyways, guys, I chose the most neutral, non-divisive article. I, I doubt anyone can, this could cause any division. Anyways, guys, let's go to the notebook. Okay. You don't have to import pandas. I left it there. Okay. NLTK and then pip install URL open. NLTK puncts. Okay. You guys got it. And then uh, URL request open. Beautiful soup. That's the web scraping framework. There's the URL. If you guys want to do a different web page, feel free. It doesn't have to be news. However, the K-means clusters might be a little different than which I'm about to go to if you guys are familiar with K-means. We're going to use the TDI vectorizer and LDA topic modeling as well. Open and read, AST, raw equals get the text. Tokens equals tokenize the word raw, the tokens. Print raw, that's the bottom of the page. Okay. And then the TDI vectorizer, import K means also. Okay, the TDI vectorizer stop words English because it's in English. Okay, and then X equals vector fit transform the tokens. Here's where we're gonna pass all this right here. This is how we're gonna get the elbow. Now, guys, as you can see, the first elbow is here, so we're gonna go with two. If you wanted to give the algorithm a little more leeway, uh, this would be, no, nah, nah, never mind, it's two. I mean, there's no way around it. I mean, there's your first elbow. There's pretty much the only elbow. Let's say uh, this one was not as correct of a bend, and then maybe here, and you wanted to give it a little more leeway, and that one was more correct. Then feel free, but that's not the case, as you can see right here. It's the first and technically only real elbow. Okay. 2K equals true because that was the elbow, remember? Okay, model equals K means true K. Pass all those parameters right there, the max iter. Model fit, okay. Ordered centroids equals model cluster center arg sort. Pass the splicing parameters, dash one. There's the ordered centroids. B equals ordered centroids. Print model clusters. And then there's the model cluster centers. The model labels equals model labels. I was going to do something else with that. Okay. Predict fit, predict X. PCA, scatter it. Fit, transform the X to array with PCA. Principal component analysis. Okay, as you can see, there's the scatter plot points. X equals scatter the colors, model indices, enumerate the labels. Okay, annotate X on the X axis and the Y axis. Remember this information parameter? Okay, and then the size equals 10. 
As you can see, there's only one that was a little bit off. You see the zero over there. All you, as you can see, most of them are pretty close and in range. There we go. Okay. Now, uh, back to what I was saying. Uh, let's say you do a different web page. Obviously, they're not all that similarities in what they say in the words. That's what the VTI vectorizer helps for, not just the k-means and finding similarities. Remember, we also use the TDI vectorizer and content-based recommendation system. See some of my other videos for that with Streamlit and just content-based recommendations themselves. I've got the code as well. I've got many of those. I've got collaborative filtering and uh, I've got all kinds of Streamlit apps. Binary class, multi-class, uh, you name it. I got regression. See my other Streamlit videos. Okay, guys, and uh, let's get back to the code. We're going to do some more. As you can see, pass all this right here for data visualization. And uh, count vectorizer. Okay, the counter vectorizer, we're going to use that instead because we got to pull out some words. Okay, stop words equals English. You guys already know. Counter vec transform the token, the tokens. Okay, and then the LDA and components 10, random state 42. Fit the doc. Okay, and then put pass these parameters right here, especially the online learning method for the advanced one. And then fit, and then random, and then get the feature names out. Pass that right here. The old way used to just be get feature names and then ran okay uh, it just used to be get feature names and then pass this right here okay so lda components get feature names out arg sort negative 10. as you can see these are the name these are the 10 words in each topic for 10 and then we're gonna see remember they start at zero remember and they go all the way to nine Okay, and then the LDA components, zero to nine, of course. And then uh, notice the difference, somewhat difference in the words they choose. Okay, as you can see, this is about castaway. So obviously there was a boat, you know? Um, try and take a word, um, build on what I did, you know? Why don't you guys do some data visualization or I might do that in another video, and we might do a little word count in the words they found, you know, with matplotlib. We could do bar charts, and we could do some more data visualization and maybe some statistics. Although, guys, be advised on my channel, I've been starting to get more into the data science side instead of the machine learning engineering side because pipelines get expensive. Therefore, uh, code in your notebook is free. If you guys help support my channel, I'll get back to uh, SageMaker. I remember I got a shout out to one uh, viewer who told me he wanted a reinforcement learning algorithm. You, I have not forgotten about you. I will get around to that when I get enough subscribers. Or I get more viewers or people start subscribing for memberships. You can sign up for a membership. In fact, guys, later on I was thinking about making some videos private for my loyal viewers who want to become members. And you just have to pay $4.99 a month. And you can unsubscribe anytime you want. I was thinking about possibly doing that in the future, way in the future. Anyways, guys, uh, you'd be helping me out a lot. Then I can get back on the cloud. Um, see my other video. I've got all kinds of SageMaker videos. Just models itself, pipelines. I got a database video. See some of my other reinforcement learning videos. See, um, you name it, I got it on my channel. I'm sure if you're here, there's something you need, somebody else somebody else needs. And you guys can uh, help me out by sharing my videos as well. Liking, subscribing, leaving a comment even, you know? Leave a comment. Tell me what other videos you guys want on the notebook. I'll let you guys know when I'm ready to get back on the cloud, and I'll do uh, what he said. 
see some of my other videos for uh, convolutional neural networks. I even got an AI web app with Streamlit. I forgot about that one. Check out my channel. There's a, over 130 other videos. If you're here, there's something, and they're all doing something different. You name it, I got it. Natural language processing with Streamlit, natural language processing itself, deploying one on Google Cloud with on AI platform. You guys name it, I got it. Check out my whole channel. I've got more K-means clustering, like clustering DNA results. Also, classifying traits. Yeah, traits and using them to predict them on your ancestry DNA test or 23andMe, whatever DNA company you took it with. My heritage DNA, whatever, whatever, uh, any of them. My family tree DNA, there's so many companies. You can take the test directly or you can de upload from another company. And some companies only take tests directly because they want you to take it directly. It all depends. Well, anyways, guys, I got videos on that as well. I've got videos where you can uh, do on people's SMPs from that um, uh, academic websites where you can do K-means clustering, cluster Korean and Estonian DNA and compare them. As you can see, they're going to be on two different axes. Check out um, any of my other videos. You name it, I got it. I've got just regular improving a linear regression model with uh, by adding polynomial features and changing the polynomial degree. As you can see, that has the biggest impact, for bad or for worse. You name it, I got it. Um, check out my channel, guys. I'm sure there's something you need. Um, check out my reinforcement learning. I've got nearly all of the video game ones, you guys. I've even got reinforcement for learning. By video games, I mean the open AI gym with visualization. A lot of the other guys don't give me visualization of how the RL agent's doing. I got that, though. Um, check it out, like, subscribe, comment, comment anything, how you feel about it. That helps me out too. Anyways, guys, I hope you guys learned from my video. Stay tuned and don't worry. Uh, I'm going to continue this channel probably forever, you know, and, uh, tell me what you guys want. I'll always, uh, get back to you. Thank you guys. Take care. See you next time. Bye.